Blake says, I would create a homosexual thought to test myself that caused arousal, which scared me. <laughs> no. I have watched your HOCD playlist, Will Again. Is this feeling credible as it was intrusive? Uh, when you say intru the, the whole idea of the fact that you created a homosexual thought in you who's a heterosexual is intrusive. So how could it not be intrusive? What do you mean by intrusive? It wasn't sexual? Listen, very simply said, I don't know what exactly the question here is because I can't understand it, but you do. But maybe this will help from what I see. If you, as a heterosexual male, look at a statue that has a naked body out of metal, all smooth and, sh and, and shiny and curved in uh, exactly as a human body is, but it's from the back, and you just walk in, in the street, you see that statue, and you see the back and the butt and the legs or the muscles or the hand but you didn't pay attention to the top to see what it is because it's the back of the statue. You see the shiny and roundness of the, the statue of the muscle or the butt of the statue, you can get a rose. What does that mean now? Okay, that's not heterosexual, that's not homosexual, is it statue uh, sexual? <laughs> you get a rose <clears throat> by associating smooth round shape body of a human being based on the association of that to sex and why and whether it's a man or a woman that could bring that thought into your mind or the arousal because if it's a woman that's obvious if it's a man you didn't know it's a man it was the back and to you, you're just focusing on the shape, not the gender. Therefore, you react to the shape that you are designed to react to. That's why <laughs> it, it, it is possible to, if it's dark and somebody doesn't really know the gender of the other person and think it's a woman, because in your mind, everything is a woman. If it's, I, I don't know, it's a, pleasant shape or represents shape of a body to you it associated with the sex with woman if you get arousal if you look at a, a man well you see the muscle of the man uh, whether it's the biceps or their body or if they're naked and you see the part of their body that is the same part of the body that you have because you look at your own muscle bicep or body or chest or pelvis or legs or waist or your six packs or wherever of yours you consider that and associate that with sex with women that's why you go to the gym you train yourself you're thinking about women and you associate your body part in relation to sex with women this is how you know you yourself, your body parts, your muscles, and everything. When you see another man, naked part of the body or the muscle part of the body, even in clothes, you see that that's the same kind of a part, body part that you have. And you associate your body part with sex with women. So you associate that muscle, that body part of that other male also it associates with sex because to you you associate with sex with women and you see the same body part as you have in another male which that also that associates with sex with women and that's where the connection of sex is with that other male not it's not a homosexual feeling that is a representation of sex through the body part of that male which is the same as your own body part and your own body sides and you associate this which is yours with sex with women so you associate that same body part in another male 
associated with sex with women because that's that's what you recognize associate with and then you get a reaction because thought brings a reaction in the body regardless of who the other side was the other side of that imagination is association of sex with women even though it's not you it's another man but the body part brings the association of that body part with the same thing that your body part is associated with sex with women so that part of it is what brings the arousal arousal and you make a mistake because then the negative thought intrusive thoughts negative thought runs with it hoc runs with it and says ah you're homosexual because you had an arousal you didn't have arousal for that man you had the arousal for the idea of sex of that body part muscle part with woman and that's the second part that is doing what it does and you get fooled by the negative intrusive thoughts running and trying to pin it and label it in something that is not so i don't know if that answers your question um, Blake says, it seems I need to update my definition of intrusive. You have helped very much. Thanks. You're quite welcome. My pleasure. 